Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today's video is something a little different. It's not a recipe for making a dish, but it's a recipe for making something very useful. Every day we use fresh flowers for our puja. Now next day we remove the flowers when they are dried. So instead of just discarding them, you keep collecting the flowers for about a month or so. Here I have just shown you with just a small quantity for a sample. Whatever flowers you use, maybe it is a rose or sometimes we use this chamandi. If you have jasmine, whichever flowers you are using for your puja, just collect them, keep it aside for them to dry. See, they are very well dried now. Can you see that? And sometimes we use this coconut also on our puja. So little bit of that coconut fiber also you can add. When it is well dried, you just add it to your mixy jar. We will make a powder of all these dried flowers. See we have blended it into a powder. Now we will just sieve this powder. Getting a lovely aroma. See all these flowers are dried for over two weeks now. But still the fragrance is there of the rose, the chrysanthemum, everything. Now I am just transferring this into a plate. This is already very fragrant, but we'll add a few more things to give. Now, to this, this is some uh, chandan powder, the chandan tilak powder. So, I'm just adding, say, roughly half a teaspoon of it. This is known as sambrani in Tamil. I think it's loban in Hindi and this is benzoic resin, which, you know, we burn for the incense too. So, you can just add. That's it. This is the camphor or kapoor. So we can just powder this also lightly and add. Mix all these dry ingredients very well together. So you want a very fragrant dhup for your puja and have a lovely divine, divine fragrance at home. Now to this. You can add either rose water, but today I have this rose essence. So I am just adding a few drops of rose essence to this. All this is just optional. Whatever is available to you, you can add. And finally, we will add some good cow's ghee to this. So that it will all bind together very well. I am just adding water and again we will mix it all well together till it comes together as one mass. See, just add water little by little till it comes together like this. Then pinch out small portions, a small ball and just shape it into a cone like this. So likewise make with the remaining cones also like this and we will then leave it out to dry. You can leave it out in the sun or even you can just leave it under the fan overnight it will dry soon. We have shaped all the powder into cones like this and arranged it on a plate. Now we leave this to dry. Our homemade dhup cones have a dried very well now let's see how to use it now i'll just take one dhup cone and light it and show you Or if you have a box or a stand like this, you can just light the cones, keep them inside.
Thank you for watching the video and do definitely try out this brilliant way to make use of the dried flowers which you use every day for puja and make your own homemade dhup cones. Please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting episode of Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.